Hello again, this is Dr. Roger Elmer. I am a chiropractor. Also, I'm a fellow in the International Chiropractic Scoliosis Board, and a, I'm also a diplomate of the American Board of Chiropractic Neurology. And so the, the question that I was asked today to deal with is what's the difference between a neurologist and a functional neurologist? Actually, we're gonna divide it up into three three categories, uh, a, a neurologist, it's a traditional neurologist, a chiropractic neurologist, and a functional neurologist. And so when we look at, when we say the word neurologist, we tend to think of a medical doctor, could be uh, a, a, a MD or a DO, who has gone through specialty work, has done a residency usually, and is his specialty is uh, problems with the central nervous system, peripheral nervous system, basically the, the entire nervous system. And so that is when we th when we say the word neurologist, that's what we're talking about. But when we when we put in front of it chiropractic neurologist, chiropractic neurology is a specialty within the field of chiropractic, and they've gone through extra training and board certifications relating to that specialty of neurology. Uh, they, the medical doctor tends to use medications or refer out for therapies uh, or even surgeries uh, relating to the, to the condition, whereas a chiropractic neurologist would be rendering a diagnosis with the intent of either, either doing some treatment or referral out. And so they, and they have to go through their own uh, board certifications and that meaning uh, it's a rigorous testing process, very ugly. And, that, and so that, that is what a chiropractic neurologist is. I am a board certified chiropractic neurologist, but I specialize in a field called functional neurology. Functional neurology is an area where we are working to manipulate the physiology of the nervous system in very clever ways, uh, shining light into people's eyes, uh, causing, causing them to have better balance through specific uh, stimulation to, to areas of the, of the neuraxis, which is the, the brain and spinal cord. And so here, here we are working with the different kinds of, of uh, problems that you would see neurologically but in a different way, without drugs or surgery, and that, and most of the things that that we use, utilize, actually were invented before. Uh, they uh, a lot of the 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 things, but they're the, the the traditional the therapies that we use are not traditional, but many of them were already invented by the medical community. But because they don't have a pharmaceutical vent, because they don't have a surgical approach, uh, they're not traditionally accepted. And so we employ, we bring those things together under one umbrella, one roof. And so they, they are, our, our specialty is the clever manipulation of the physiology of the brain and doing it without drugs or surgery. I often am working with uh, medical doctors in conjunction. Uh, patients will come in with severe, severe issues, uh, including any number of problems besides pain. Having, having specific pain problems, but then also having difficulties with things such as brain injuries, autism, problems with severe balance and vertigo issues, having difficulties with uh, movement disorders and, and that, and so many other issues, including patients who come in with brain tumors and, and that. I can't take their brain tumor out, but I can cause the brain to function in spite of it. Uh, sometimes I'll see the patient after a surgery and there'll be uh, effects that have happened. They've taken the part of the brain out so it's not functioning quite the way it should. Plus parts of the brain that aren't dead aren't functioning the way they should. And my job is to target those areas and get them functioning. Well, we're gonna be talking about a lot of other, other issues where we actually get into the fine tuning of how this kind of thing works and what different kinds of cases uh, that, that we traditionally are seeing here, where we see anything, like I said, from brain injuries to autism to movement disorders to vestibular disorders, and we also see things like 
uh, difficulties with speech, problems with with uh, depression, suicidal tendencies, and that, and we approach them through this functional neurological approach where we're stimulating what we call the sensory system, or, or in neuro neurology, we call it the afferent system. And so if you imagine the, the brain like a computer, and it has a sensory division to, that has sensors like a computer does, and those sensors are like a keyboard to me. And I'm gonna play with the keyboard, and I'm gonna watch the motor output, and it's like my monitor. And I'm gonna use it to, to assess things that are going in, going on within the within the brain stem, within the spinal cord, within the within the brain itself, within the basal ganglia, and to find out what is going wrong, what it, what is having a problem, what is having a challenge, and to bring these things up up to speed. Uh, traditionally, the the things that medical neurologists are looking for are what we call hard lesions. We call them ablative lesions. When you look on an MRI and you see dead tissue due to a stroke, that is something that actually you can, you can actually point to and say, hey, there's the problem. We do a lot of work with what we call soft lesions, something that doesn't show up. You go, you go to four different neurologists, they do all kinds of MRIs, CAT scans, DAT scans, and that, and they come back, they can't find anything that's wrong. That doesn't mean that there isn't a problem. That means that there isn't an ablative, overt, visual, uh, way to see it. When we when we do our work, it is much more subtle. We are looking for aberrations in physiology, and we want to recalibrate the nervous system so that it functions at the level it should. Down the road, as those things aren't functioning the way it should, they precipitate a need for a challenge so that the nervous system has to change in response to those problems. The kind of things that we see, in like in a migraine headache, when we don't see any tumor that's causing it, or or breach in the blood flow, the MRA looks good, and that, and yet we're having significant problems with sensitivities in light, sound, smells, taste, to na severe nausea, difficulties with emotional challenges. All of those things are represented or related to a problem within the brainstem. And they are creating all kinds of abnormal effects. And my job is to find where those are and to begin utilizing physiology, particularly utilizing that sensory system to cause the brain to inhibit those areas so that they can start functioning better. And so we'll, we'll be doing a lot of videos relating to what is chiropractic neurology and, and what is functional neurology in a very specific way but I just wanted to do this video to explain. If you're looking for uh, a medical diagnosis and, and some medical uh, attention, and particularly uh, either, either medicine or drugs or surgery, this is not the place. Uh, usually we're the ones that they've, they've been to 10 doctors and five chiropractors and they're on the verge of suicide. That's where we are. Uh, they come to us and then they're, they're willing to do some very weird things like getting water squirted in their ears and spun in chairs and, and everybody always says, well, how does that do it? Well, hey, we can explain. Uh, we, we deal with neurology and neuroscience and the physiology of how it works. And like I say, most of, like I've always said, you know, almost 100% of my patients actually come from referrals from other patients. There are people actually looking for results. They want a better life. How far can we take you? I have no idea, uh, no idea. But w when you have a brain and it's breaking down and things that aren't, aren't working the way they should, this is the place to take care of those things. If you have any questions, please contact Katie uh, at, the, at the front desk. And she, if you have any other questions that you'd like us to deal with, uh, we're happy to do that. Thank you very much.